Hello my loves, my name is Gina. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, guys, if you are interested in crystals to heal and clear your chakras for anxiety, depression, insomnia, you can visit Kim K Crystals. The link to her website is below. Um, she does live crystal sales on Facebook. Those events are a lot of fun. She gives a, a bunch of stuff away and I choose winners for free readings at those live events. Um, so if you'd like to check it out, the, uh, Facebook link is below. Okay. Um, what else? Special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111, Owl Tarot, and Distilled Tarot. Um, the links for those channels should be in the description box below under recommended readers, okay? Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I do choose multiple winners every single month. Um, I give away a bunch of stuff in the description box below. You'll see a whole list of everything that I give away. Just go ahead and hashtag in the description box, in the comment section below, excuse me, what you would like to manifest or win for the, um, the giveaway. Okay. And don't forget to click that notification bell. So you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. All right, let's get started. All right, my loves, so let's see what we have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for Leo's Please. Oh, okay, Leo's Please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Okay, so we have the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy, King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra Energy, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy, the Nine of Wands. We have the Sun Card. Leo energy, clarity, guidance, love messages, and the moon card. So Leo, this could be your side. This could be your person's side, okay? So we've got the Empress under the deck, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. So Leo, I feel here that somebody um, possibly has stronger feelings than what they are letting on okay with the lover's card that is a very strong soul tie connection possibly even twin flame and i feel like with the king of swords here um i feel like we have somebody that has these strong emotions but they are trying to not show it <laughs> someone here is trying to not show those emotions um with the Page of Cups and the Nine of Wands, I'm kind of getting an indication here that somebody here wants to say something, but they're afraid of being hurt. Or someone here wants to, um, maybe they're afraid of blockages or they're afraid of being denied. Like maybe this could be an energy of somebody saying, wanting to say, I love you for the first time and afraid that the person's not going to say it back. Or somebody wants to ask somebody out and say, hey, listen, I like you. And they're afraid that, you know what I'm saying? Someone's not going to feel the same way, but we've got the sun card and the moon card. So I feel like what is in the dark may come to light here, Leo. Okay. Um, with the Empress and the Tower, I feel like it's going to be very shocking. It's going to be very shocking. Let's see here. Like someone here may come towards you and say something that you had no idea, you know. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Tell me about the Lover's card. We've got the Empress and the Two of Wands. Okay, so... <sighs> Leo, someone here maybe has made a decision or maybe they see a future here, okay? Uh, you know, the Two of Wands talks about, you know, looking at the horizon, seeing what's out there, seeing, you know, envisioning a future with somebody. Someone here, you know, with the Empress card, this is a pregnant woman, okay? Maybe someone here is envisioning somebody as pregnant, envisioning having children with somebody, envisioning a life with somebody, Um yeah, the Seven of Cups under the deck and the Two of Cups with the Star card. Someone here is daydreaming. Someone here is dreaming about a relationship. Someone's dreaming about marriage. Someone's dreaming about having a family. Tell me about the King of Swords, please. 
we have the six of pentacles. I feel like someone's in an energy of wanting to protect themselves because they're not sure if the other person feels the same way. Page of cups and the knight of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You see someone here wants to communicate. They want to move towards somebody in a very romantic energy. We've got the four of wands and the lover's card. Very strong soul tie connection. Someone's feeling it. Tell me about the nine of wands and the ace of wands. Someone wants to have a conversation here, Leo, and they're afraid. They're stopping themselves from having the conversation. They, they want to say something and they're stopping themselves from saying it. Tell me about the sun card. We've got the moon and the death card, scorpionic energy. Someone here wants to keep it a secret because they're afraid that possibly if they say something that the connection will end or that someone will say no. Tell me about the moon card. We've got the king of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and the chariot, Cancerian energy. But I feel like someone here is possibly deciding to gain the courage and the self-confidence to make that decision and go for it. Um, I feel like, yeah, someone here may be going for it. I feel like with the world card and the ten of wands, um, something here is closing out so this could be like let's just say you're friends with somebody someone here wants to end the friendship and start something new someone here is being overwhelmed they need to speak their truth like some there's a situation here you know the world card doesn't just talk about you know something coming to a close it could be uh, a new chapter in the relationship do you see what i'm saying it could be a new chapter in the relationship all right let's see here clarity guidance love messages clarity guidance love messages for my leos please clarity guidance love messages for my leos please clarity guidance love messages for my leos please okay so we have the two of pentacles and the nine of swords two of pentacles and the nine of swords we've got the five of pentacles and the knight of pentacles in the reverse capricorn taurus virgo energy what is happening here leo Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Leo, oh boy. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, the Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles pre-Empress energy. Okay, let me just, let me just, let's do this. Okay, so Leo, I didn't want to turn this into a third party thing, so I didn't go that route, okay? It, depending on where you stand here, it wouldn't be a third party in a way that would hurt you. But anyway, so I feel here that someone had a decision between two people, Leo. Because the, the, the lover's card can talk about making a decision and so does the two of wands, okay? So someone here had to choose possibly between two people. And I feel here, Leo, that on this side, on this side, um, okay, so... There's one person here that has to choose between two people. Now, Leo, I don't know where you stand. You could be the person that has to choose between two people. You could be the person that got chosen. You could be the person that got left behind. On this side, we have an energy of someone who doesn't understand what's going on. Someone is in bed at night crying, having nightmares, uh, feeling like something's off, having doubt, feeling like wondering if, if is there someone else? Do you see what I'm saying? Wondering, is there someone else? else with the five of pentacles and the knight of pentacles in the reverse leo someone has stopped calling someone has stopped coming around someone has gone completely freaking ghost here okay someone has gone ghost here why have they gone ghost because with the ace of pentacles and the wheel of fortune someone has hit the jock the jackpot somewhere someone has found themselves an empress or rather a pre-empress possibly because look at this page of swords aquarius gemini libra energy someone here possibly met someone online or someone's about to find out that there is a third party energy with the three of pentacles and the five of wands i feel like there's fighting here of can't we work this out or maybe there's competition where somebody feels like there's a better teammate for them out there and with the nine of pentacles virgo energy pre-empress energy what i'm feeling here is we have someone who's very passionate someone here who's very passionate about this decision they feel like this is the right choice for them 
Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. The problem here is someone's just being left yearning and nostalgic. Do you understand? So Leo, okay, let's just say you, this could go a couple different ways. So let's say Leo, you just started dating somebody and it's going really, really great, right? What you might may not know what you may not know, Leo, is that the person that you're dating was seeing someone else and is abandoning that person to be with you. Leo, if you find that you're in bed crying, not knowing what's going on with your person, they have found someone else that they would rather be with. Or Leo, this may be you that has to make a decision between two people. You may be finding somebody new and you're hitting the jackpot in love and you're ghosting somebody. I don't know, okay? Um, tell me about the two of pentacles, please, spirit. So we've got the five of swords. There's a lot of drama here, fighting, someone here maybe sabotage. Like, it's kind of like this energy of somebody here meet, met someone new and they sabotage the connection. We've got the hierophant in the reverse. Someone here is worried that their marriage is going to end or that their relationship is over. Someone here is worried that these these fights, the sabotage, the drama is happening because someone here is non-committal. So yeah, see, look, five of pentacles under the deck again. Someone has completely abandoned the connection. Someone has completely abandoned the connection. Five of Pentacles. Five, uh, the Seven of Wands in the reverse, excuse me. Seven of Wands in the reverse. And what's worse is on this person's side, there's no way to overcome the problem. There's no way to overcome the problem because even if this person wants to work it out with this person, this person is so dead set on moving towards this Empress energy. You see someone here, what you don't know with that moon card and that death card is that there is a situation ending and something new beginning with the sun card here. Um, maybe you're about to find out that information, but someone's moving towards their happiness. Eight of, yeah, see, look, Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. There's competition here. And someone is moving towards this beautiful, prosperous Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So this is an energy of someone is no longer coming by. So when you're on a horse, that's movement, right? Okay, the knight is movement. Someone here is no longer wanting to date, no longer swinging by, no longer wanting to meet up. They may answer a text message, but it's going to be very friendly. Like, do you see what I'm saying? So Leo, depending on where you stand here, De depending on where you stand here, um, you know, so if you find that you were dating someone and they're no longer asking you to go out, they're no longer coming by your house, they're no longer calling you, uh, if you text, they'll send back a very dry text message. This person has clearly found somebody else. I mean, and, and they feel like this person is empress level they've hit the jackpot in love, Leo, okay? Now, Leo, if you've met someone and everything's going great and everything's good, um, the person that you're dealing with may be go literally just leaving someone out in the dust. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles and the Judgment card, Sagittarian Energy, Wheel of Fortune, and the three of cups in the reverse. Yeah, see, someone here is, is making a final decision. They're choosing this pre-empress level energy because with the three of pentacles, it's a better teammate. It's a better choice. It's a better option. Um, I feel like there's peace and tranquility in this new beginning. I feel like the person here that's moving towards this new person does not want to mess around. They don't want to be in a third party energy. The, the person here that is is needing to choose between the two people is not out to screw up their jackpot. They're not out to mess this up, this wheel of fortune. So they're not going to deal with being caught cheating. They don't want to be in a third party. They're, the, someone here is just not even, like if they answer this person, it's going to be, yeah, it's a nice day out today. That's it. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like someone's just going to take it to friendship level communication because they are not out to cheat on this empress that they have found. Does that make sense? Okay. So I don't know where you stand in this Leo. I don't know if you're the person being left behind. I don't know if you're the person that needs to choose between two people or if you're the person being chosen. Let's just hope that you're the person being chosen or needing to choose and not the person being left behind. Tell me about the challenge. 
Seven of Swords in the reverse. Tell me about the challenge. The Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the challenge for Leo, please. Whoa, okay. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And the Knight of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Oh, look and look under the deck. Nine of Pentacles again. Pre-Empress energy. The challenge here is with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Someone's slipping away. They're getting the hell out of Dodge. They're, they're just getting out like someone here is just getting away and with the three of pentacles they're going to work on something that they deem to be more successful the three of pentacles talks about working on something that's going to reap success you know um or that's that's going to be something that they can be proud of and with the page of pentacles in the reverse someone here is either withdrawing a promise or stopping all communication um the knight of wands energy the challenge here is that someone is pursuing what they're passionate about and I feel like someone's passionate about this pre-empress energy yep you see look at this we've got the chariot card here cancerian energy and we have the hierophant taurus energy someone here is choosing the option that they feel is best for them choosing the option that they feel is best for them um so I feel though that someone's going to want revenge not going to lie. I feel like there's going to be fighting here. I feel like the person that's being left behind is going to want their justice. They're going to want revenge. Yeah. Because they're, they're like, where did you go? Like what, what happened? You know, cause someone here just totally dipped. Someone's going to be angry. Someone's going to be angry. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Tell me about the outcome here, please. Spirit. Tell me about the outcome here, please. Spirit. Tell me about the outcome here, please, Spirit. So we have the Three of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And we've got the Judgment card in the reverse. I feel that what we have here, guys, is someone is speaking their truth. They're, they're saying the secret. There's a third party energy here that I really want. I want the third party. I want this other person. Because with the Three of Cups here and the King of Pentacles, this is someone who is non-committal. This is someone with a judgment card in the reverse that doesn't want to give this situation any more chances. They want to move towards their third party. Or this could be someone still wants to reconcile with someone someone who's being non-committal but there is no second chance here but I I can tell you the person that's being left behind is very angry this person you saw that justice card they want justice this person's going to be angry okay so Leo let's take it into the extended let's see what we have here for this king of swords energy this is the king of swords is the one that wants to move towards the empress or pre-empress you know pre-empress is just a single person and guys we don't read gender and tarot you guys already know that we read energy so this could be man woman it doesn't matter um so let's see what's going to happen with the person who's being left behind let's see what the outcome is between the one who's being chosen let's see, you know we'll some oracle for some clarity and guidance okay so the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below i love you all so much and i'll see you soon